Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, the unary operations of relational algebra in DBMS. So unary operations in relational algebra. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the various operations of relational algebra. So in that we have seen the unary operations, binary operations and set theory operations and extended and derived operations. In that we will see these unary operations. First, what are meant by these unary operations? So we know that unary operations are the operations which are done on a single relation. So operations. perform on single relation single relation so that we call it as a unary operation single relation means a single table single table right so let us consider a table let us consider a table with some three fields so the first one is some roll number R N O and then second one is some name student name and the third one is a percentage percentage let us say these three fields okay roll number some one zero one some some ninety eight percent one zero two Saradi some ninety nine percent one zero three Chaitu some hundred percent one zero four Ashok ninety nine percent one zero five forty percent right so let us take this relation a student relation right so now what are the operations that can be performed on this particular relation only single relation right so let it be the relation name is student student relation right. let us take here some 85 percentage and let us take this one with a 70 percentage okay so there is a slight difference in the parts percentages now the first operation is selection operation selection operation and usually this selection operation is represented as sigma sigma right so it is represented as sigma and this is nothing but the horizontal subset of this relation horizontal subset means the rows so to get the complete rows so we call them as a rows or a tuples or entities right so in order to get the entities or in order to get the rows in order to get the tuples we have to use this sigma selection operation so it is a horizontal subset horizontal subset right the syntax for this selection is sigma and here we need to write the condition condition and here you need to write the relation name relation name right condition and the relation name so if you want to get all the records from this particular relation so to get all records from relation the formula is sigma followed by student so we are not giving any condition here so it automatically it will get all the records of a student okay if you are not specifying any condition it will get all the 
records of a student now now if we want to get all the records from the relation whose percentage is less than 90 so we need to get the records get the records of a students from the relation whose percentage is less than 90 now here we have to write the condition what's the condition here percentage less than 90 from the from the relation student student so this is the a simple relation i mean simple formula to get the records of a student from the student record whose percentage is less than 90 right so like this we can use a multiple conditions here okay so by using the logical operators and or okay so by using these two and and or we can use the logical operators and here we need to write the condition so this is a simple condition this is a, a simple condition right so this selection operation is used to get the horizontal subset that means records records the second one is the second one is projection operation projection operation and it was represented as a pi pi this was represented as pi and this is a vertical subset it gives a vertical subset vertical subset means a columns so which columns to be represented or which columns to be uh, get in the result right so in the result we if, if we don't want to get all the complete columns we can restrict the columns that which we want to display on the screen by using this projection operation so that that's why we call it as a vertical subset so here we are not uh, writing any condition simply we have to write the pi and give the column one comma column two etc etc from the relation name from the given relation right relation name so this is how we can restrict the columns for example if you want to get only if you want to display only the roll number simply you use to see display roll number and percentage so simply you have to use a pi give the roll number comma percentage followed by relation name student right so this is how we can get only the columns roll number and a percentage and if you want to get the display roll numbers and percentage of students of students whose percentage is a greater than 90 is a greater than 90 so i need to get the details of a students whose percentage is greater than 90 and i just want to display only the roll number and a percentage so then simply use pi roll number percentage instead of giving here the roll number i mean the relation use the selection operation sigma sigma condition here what is the condition percentage percentage greater than 90 from student so we will get the complete details of a student whose percentage is greater than 90 so first this one will be executed and from this result it will display only the roll number and a percentage so hope you understood right so first this select query will be executed so that we will get all the student details whose percentage is greater than 90 so we will get these two results but we need to display only the roll number and a percentage so after completion of this query so this will be executed so it will display only roll number followed by the percentage so that is the projection operation projection operation right so we can combine the projection and the selection no problem so based upon the query we have to write down the formula 
and the next last one is in the urinary operations in the urinary operations the last one is rename so how to rename the relation rename operation rename operation which is represented as ro okay ro right so here the syntax for renaming the relation is ro followed by a new name followed by relation name relation name right so here example if you want to change the student as student as some students okay some students so i'll go with the row so write it here uh, let it be some final year final year students okay so i will give here the new table name as final final year students final year students final underscore students followed by student so automatically this student name will be replaced with final underscore student that means it was renamed it was renamed okay it was renamed renamed from this particular student okay so hope you understood this one so this this is the unary operations all these are the unary operations so selection operation projection operation rename operations so these operations will be performed on a single relation so that's why we call these operations as the unary operations so let's stop here so in the next session we'll see the set theory operations in relational algebra that is intersection union cartesian product and a minus or a set difference so we'll see all the four in the next session these are the set theory operations so let's stop here so hope you understood this uh, complete session of unary operations in dbms so if you are having any doubt regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much